invites Netanyahu to speak to Congress. The Jerusalem Post interviews Tsipi Livni. Seven stabbing victims remain hospitalized. And Madonna thanks Israeli police for solving hacking case. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are your headlines for Thursday, January 22nd. U.S. House of Representatives Speaker John Boehner on Wednesday invited Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to address Congress next month. Boehner invited Netanyahu to speak about the threat of radical Islam and Iran. The invitation caused a rift with the White House, who said that they were not consulted before the invitation was sent out and questioned whether protocol had been violated. Uh, certainly, traditionally, we would learn about uh, the plans of a leader to come to the United States uh, separately from learning from it uh, about it from the Speaker of the House, which is how we learned of Prime Minister Netanyahu's plans to uh, come and speak to a joint session. Now, he's spoken to a joint session many times in the past. Uh, that's certainly not something we have opposed, nor, nor do we oppose it uh, in general in this case. And for a special preview today of the first episode of the J-Post election arena, the Jerusalem Post's Knesset reporter Lahav Harkov interviewed C.P. Levni, who reacted to the recent invitation of Netanyahu by Congressman Boehner. Uh, I believe that the relations between Israel and the United States are of strategic nature and it's very important that all of us will keep these uh, relations based on bipartisan uh, policy. And uh, sometimes it looks that uh, Netanyahu is not keeping this as a bipartisan, but uh, since the uh, relations are based on values and real friendship and also interest, so I hope that it would not uh, uh, affect the relations in the future. You can watch the full episode of the interview at jpost.com. Police on Thursday raided homes in the West Bank city of Tulkarem, the city from where the attacker in yesterday's Tel Aviv stabbing hailed. During initial questioning, the attacker said that he had purchased the knife he used in the attack in Tulkarem and said that he had been driven by last summer's conflict in Gaza, unrest on the Temple Mount, and by watching extremist Islamist content. The condition of Herzl Beton, the bus driver who was seriously injured in the attack, improved on Thursday, and seven other people who were injured in the attack remained hospitalized. Madonna on Thursday thanked Israeli law enforcement for helping to apprehend the Tel Aviv-based hacker who broke into her computer system and leaked unreleased music onto the internet. The Israel Police Special Investigation Unit, Lahav 433, arrested a 38-year-old Tel Aviv resident on suspicion of hacking the computers of several musical artists, including Madonna, and stealing unreleased music to sell online. In December, a slew of demos from Madonna's album in progress, Rebel Heart, leaked online, forcing the superstar to release six tracks and move up the release date of the album, which was due to come out in March. And that's all for today. We'll be back on Sunday with more headlines. For now, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studios.